Universal greeting. Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Bible verse of the day from the sure word for today's audio daily devotion. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. The Introduction Welcome to week 32. Welcome to day 219. Welcome to the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. The sure word for today's Bible verse of the day is a collection of uplifting and inspirational verses from the Bible, designed to encourage and strengthen your faith. Whether you're looking for words of comfort, guidance, or motivation, you'll find them here in this carefully curated selection of verses. Join me on this journey of discovery as we explore the wisdom and beauty of the Bible together. The Bible verse of the day. Today's Bible verse for the sure word for today is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, reading verse 10. Unless otherwise stated, we read all Bible quotations from the Holy Bible and the King James Version. Quote. I the Lord search the heart, I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. Unquote. The thoughts on the Bible verse of the day. The thoughts on the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. First, the verse reveals that God is omniscient, meaning he knows everything. He searches the heart and examines the mind of every person, which implies that no one can hide their thoughts and intentions from God. This truth should humble us and remind us that we cannot deceive or manipulate God. He sees beyond our external actions and evaluates our inner motivations and attitudes. Second, the verse emphasizes that God is a just judge who rewards each person according to their conduct and deeds. This means that we will all be held accountable for our actions and decisions. It's not enough to have good intentions, we must follow through with righteous behavior. Our deeds matter because they reflect our character and reveal our priorities. God's justice ensures that evil deeds will not go unpunished, and good deeds will not go unrewarded. Third, the verse encourages us to live with integrity and honesty. We cannot pretend to be something we're not or act in ways that contradict our beliefs and values. God sees through our facade and evaluates our authenticity. Therefore, we should strive to align our actions with our words and thoughts. We should also confess our sins and shortcomings to God, knowing that He forgives those who repent and seek His mercy. Fourth, the verse reminds us that our ultimate reward is not based on human standards, but on divine standards. We may receive recognition, applause, and rewards from people for our good deeds, but these are temporary and fleeting. God's reward is eternal and based on His perfect wisdom and justice. We should not seek the approval of others at the expense of compromising our values or disobeying God's commands. Instead, we should seek to please God and trust in His provision and grace. Fifth, the verse challenges us to examine our hearts and minds and evaluate our conduct and deeds. We should ask ourselves, am I living in a way that honors God and reflects His righteousness? Am I loving my neighbor as myself? Am I using my talents and resources to serve others and advance God's kingdom? These questions help us to grow in our faith and obedience and avoid complacency and self-righteousness. Sixth, the verse comforts us with the assurance that God is not a distant or indifferent deity but a personal and caring God who loves us and desires our well-being. His judgment is not motivated by anger or revenge but by his love and justice. He wants us to experience the abundant life that He has prepared for us and avoid the destructive consequences of sin and disobedience. In conclusion, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10 teaches us that God is a just and omniscient judge who rewards each person according to their conduct and deeds. We should live with integrity, seek to please God, and trust in His provision and grace. 
we should also examine our hearts and minds and evaluate our conduct and deeds. By doing so, we can grow in our faith, avoid complacency and self-righteousness, and experience the abundant life that God has prepared for us. Seventh, the verse reminds us that our thoughts and attitudes matter just as much as our actions. God examines not only our outward behavior, but also our innermost thoughts and intentions. This means that we cannot simply perform good deeds while harboring selfish or sinful thoughts. We must strive to have a pure heart and the right attitude towards God and others. Eighth, the verse implies that God's judgment is based on our responsibility, not on external factors such as wealth, status, or ethnicity. God does not show partiality or favoritism but evaluates each person based on their conduct and deeds. This means that we cannot excuse our sins or blame others for our mistakes. We are accountable for our own choices and must take ownership of our lives. Prayer on the Bible verse of the day. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for being a just and omniscient judge who rewards each person according to their conduct and deeds. Help us to live with integrity and authenticity, knowing that you see beyond our external actions and evaluate our inner motivations and attitudes. Give us the courage to examine our hearts and minds and evaluate our conduct and deeds, so that we may grow in our faith and obedience to you. Help us to trust in your wisdom and justice, even when we don't understand your ways. May our lives be pleasing to you, and may we experience the abundant life that you have prepared for us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Benefits of Reading the Bible Reading the Bible on a regular and consistent basis has several benefits. First, the Bible shows us God's character and provides God's revelation of himself to his people. In each section of the Bible, we see God's holy, unchanging, faithful, gracious, and loving character. The scriptures are profitable for teaching. When you read the Bible, you hear the Word of God. Faith comes from continuously hearing the Word of God. Without faith, you cannot please God. Where there is no hope, faith is not necessary because faith is the substance of things hoped for. Reading the Bible is a spiritual discipline, meaning we must be disciplined in approaching it. If you lack the desire to read the Bible, pray and ask God to give you a desire for his word. Then, build a time into your day to read scripture and make this time a priority. With the Bible verse of the day, you can plan your reading and listening routine when you have time to dine with the word of God. What you read impacts you. The sure word for today's resource center. The sure word for today's YouTube channel resource center is a valuable resource for individuals seeking spiritual guidance, inspiration, and comfort. The channel offers a wide range of carefully curated playlists, each designed to address specific needs and challenges we face in life. One of the playlists offered by the channel is the Bible verse of the day which features daily Bible verses that serve as a source of spiritual strength and guidance. Another playlist offered by the channel is Spiritual Motivation, which provides subscribers with uplifting messages and encouragement to help them stay motivated and focused on their spiritual journey. This playlist is designed to inspire individuals to live a life of purpose and meaning, while also helping them overcome obstacles and challenges along the way. Inspirational Quotes from Jefferson is another playlist that offers subscribers words of wisdom and inspiration. These quotes are designed to encourage individuals to pursue their goals and dreams, while also reminding them of the importance of integrity, courage, and perseverance. Words of Encouragement is another playlist that provides subscribers with uplifting and motivational messages designed to help them overcome challenges and setbacks in their lives. The sure word for today's audio blog post is another valuable resource offered by the channel. This playlist features audio recordings of blog posts written by the channel's founder, 
which provides subscribers with valuable insights and guidance on a wide range of spiritual topics. Personal and Spiritual Growth is a playlist that provides subscribers with practical tips and advice on how to achieve personal and spiritual growth. This playlist is designed to help individuals develop a deeper understanding of themselves and their spirituality, while also helping them cultivate positive habits and behaviors. Effective Time Management is another playlist that provides subscribers with valuable tips and advice on how to manage their time more effectively. This playlist is designed to help individuals prioritize their goals and responsibilities, while also providing them with tools and strategies to help them stay focused and productive. Faith and Despair is a playlist that provides subscribers with guidance and inspiration to help them navigate periods of doubt and uncertainty in their lives. This playlist is designed to help individuals develop a deeper sense of faith and resilience, while also providing them with practical tools and strategies to help them overcome feelings of despair and hopelessness. Strength and Bravery is another playlist that provides subscribers with inspiration and encouragement to help them cultivate inner strength and bravery. This playlist is designed to help individuals overcome fear and self-doubt, while also helping them develop the courage and confidence to pursue their goals and dreams. COVID-19 and Coronavirus is a playlist that provides subscribers with valuable information and resources related to the COVID-19 pandemic. This playlist is designed to help individuals stay informed and up-to-date on the latest developments related to the pandemic, while also providing them with practical tips and strategies to stay healthy and safe. Marriage and Relationship is another playlist that provides subscribers with guidance and advice on how to build strong and healthy relationships with their partners. This playlist is designed to help individuals cultivate meaningful and fulfilling relationships, while also providing them with tools and strategies to navigate challenges and conflicts that may arise. Conflicts and Resolutions is a playlist that provides subscribers with guidance and advice on how to resolve conflicts in their personal and professional lives. This playlist is designed to help individuals develop the skills and strategies needed to resolve conflicts healthily and constructively, while also maintaining positive relationships with others. Mental Illness and Recovery is another playlist that provides subscribers with valuable information and resources related to mental health and wellness. This playlist is designed to help individuals better understand and manage mental health issues, while also providing them with tools and resources to support them. The SureWord Capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity, and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the Word of God. Please, feel free to contact us if you want us to create a specific capsule to deal with your challenge. It will be customized with your name and the challenge you want to overcome. Finally, if there are topics you would like us to talk about, please feel free to send in your suggestions so we can create the playlist. Our mission Our mission is delivering the word of God in spirit and truth. Our key scripture is Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19. Quote. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Unquote. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. Luke chapter 4. Verse 19 from the Amplified Bible. Quote. To proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Unquote. Subscribe to our channel. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, Please do so and click the bell icon to receive a notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to The Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. Please remember to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks.
thank you for sharing. We have included timestamp to this video to help you navigate easily. How to support our work. Before you go, if you were ministered to and inspired by this video and want to see more, please subscribe to the sure word for today's YouTube channel. You can click the thumbnail on the screen, and if you want to support our work even further, the best way is to share it, speak it, tweet it, like it, and love it. Click the bell icon to get notified anytime we post a new video. Also, we will be glad if you can add your comments. We moderate comments on our platform, so our community is not open to abuse, profanity, and spam. We want our community to be safe and inviting to you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.